So hello everyone. So today you all know that we are at IIT Kanpur. Uh, so we are in one of the very important task over here in IIT Kanpur. So we we are now uh, came across some of the students who are going to get uh, we are going to get our information related to that particular department course and everything we are going to get. Because when students speak, they speak you. They will tell you all the details uh, in a way that the जो भी उन तरीके से चल रहा है वो सारा आपको डिटेल में बताएंगे सो टुडे वी आर विद आकाश ही इज डूइंग हिज इन द एम एस प्रोग्राम इन द एरो प्रोग्राम वेलकम टू योर पीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म आकाश आकाश सबसे पहले तो आप अपने मेरे को कोर्स के बारे में बताइए अबाउट स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड विच पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री यू आर सो आई एम एम एस स्टूडेंट इन एरो स्पेस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आई टी कानपुर एंड माई स्पेशलाइजेशन इज एरो डायनेमिक्स एंड आई एम फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश एंड आई एम फ्रॉम रीवा सिटी Okay, so uh, which hostel you are staying? Uh, this is. Huh? So I'm I'm staying in hall 11. I'm hall from 11. start itself. I'm I'm there. Yeah. Okay, so just tell us about the your course in detail about this so, course. So my course is MS. So my program is MS program, and it is a so it is a flexible two to three years program. If if you can finish it on on two years, you can leave. Okay. Otherwise, it's since it is research heavy program, right? Hmm. Hmm. So difference from MTech is your research load will be higher, and in MTech your uh, course load will be there so you have to do eight courses and in ms you have to do four courses mandatory and then aapko research ka load zyada hota hai so flexibility is there hmm. two to three years if you finish in between then you can leave in 2.5 or 3 years so this is what uh, briefly about ms program and yeah uh, so this is all about the so program. so you are into the first year or second year uh, what is your i am in final year and i am about to graduate in just three okay. or four months yeah okay 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 tell me your research areas uh, akash So I am working on two projects. So one is uh, <coughs> the biomedical flow. Your trachea, you have CT scan data, medical data. From there, you segment geometries and you try to uh, do CFD, DEM flow and uh, particulate analysis to understand the drug delivery and mm. the drug effectiveness. And mm. another is this on digital twins and uh, physics informed neural networks, basically industrial AI and automation. Mm. So these are two areas I am currently working on. I have also done uh, multiple internships on the same. What is your background, uh, Akash? So uh, in graduation. So in graduation, actually, uh, I was from mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. and then I changed to aerospace engineering. Aerospace. So I think aerospace is the interdisciplinary branch, right? Yeah. So yeah. who all all can apply in IIT Kanpur for aerospace for MS program, especially? Uh, I guess uh, I uh, the eligibility to apply for MS M Tech is the same for both, and uh, I think mechanical people obviously can apply, and uh, aerospace people can apply, and electrical and electronics people can apply. As per my knowledge, as of now, these three can apply, and maybe some some uh, other departments can also be there. I'm not sure of them. Right like now. you told that you are from the aerodynamics, right? Yeah. You're doing aerodynamics, so it means some more the specialization also there yeah, in aerospace. Yeah. Some some dif other dis uh, specializations also there, as structures is there, flight mechanics is there, and uh, UAS is there, uh, mm -hmm. unmanned aerial systems, and yeah, flight mechanics is there, continuum mechanics is there. So yeah, five six years specialization is there in aerospace department. So. so what type of career opportunities we are looking for this after you do your this complete your MS in aerospace? So particularly if you talk about me, I am looking for some industrial experience as as of now. So I chose to go into industry and uh, serve there. Hmm. But yeah, people also go for research. Uh, for example, their PhDs, and uh, yeah, they go to uh, foreign universities to pursue their uh, PhD. So as far as I am concerned, I am going to industry. So. Okay, you're looking for the industry, and you are almost two year complete. But tell us about the life in the campus. That is very very important. Yeah, that's that's interesting actually. Uh, life about life. I mean, uh, so what I can say. I mean, uh, across IIT is one of the most liberating IITs. IIT Kanpur is. Hmm. So it gives you a lot of opportunities as well as opportunities to enjoy and uh, participate in different sports and everything. So nightlife is one of the uh, uh, key factor here. Mm. You you get to enjoy a lot. Uh, like it never sleeps. Campus never sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So this is the part about. And also you have different different clubs mm. uh, as per your interest. And particularly about me, I'm a sports guy. So mm. I like playing sports. I'm uh, active in different sports. So I enjoy in that way. So whatever your interests are, you will get everything uh, for that for sure. So maybe it's music and drama, cricket and everything. Like, so if your uh, interest is something, then you can get something here to uh, pursue that. So how you differentiate your uh, basically the opportunities? Like you are maybe in the contact with the students who are doing bachelors over here, yeah, yeah. and you are doing masters over there. Yeah. So how you basically differentiate this thing that if somebody is doing bachelor from the IIT and somebody is doing master from the IIT, how you differentiate this thing? So uh, that's that's an interesting point actually. Uh, I recently went through the placement process, and what I have realized is, uh, what happens in for the bachelor students. So irrespective of the departments, 
they can switch their fields as per their interest okay but it's quite hard with uh, and the, the 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 kind of notion we have for for masters in india is also has to play a role here so uh, for masters students uh, like it's quite difficult once you choose the area you're going to specialize in then you have to look for the opportunities in that area for example i'm being from aerospace guy i cannot look for the quant opportunities hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. so that's the one of the key difference uh, being a ug guy you can explore a lot of things maybe you are in civil engineering department and you can explore uh, quant or completely software role because right now you're exploring ug is mostly about exploring you know hmm. it's not hmm. about specializing hmm. but hmm. when it comes to masters when you specialize then you have to stick with it hmm. you have to go search opportunities uh, in your field itself so that's the, that's the key difference what i feel uh, in bit opportunities for uh, masters and using stuff and and you you um, basically raised one point related to the placement you have also gone through that thing yeah. just tell me about the placement for this particular department only aerospace what are okay. the opportunities in terms of placements okay so uh, uh, so I, i also have friends from different uh, you know premier institutes in india so uh, at least for this time what i felt so let's let's compare with like i don't know i can take name or not but i see when you are so 90% of the companies which came for aerospace or mechanical there is the same which came here okay so uh, maybe 80 90% companies were the same so uh, uh, i would not say the percentage is very good you know if you see lot of in- intakes is intake is very high hmm. so uh, if you f- see from that point of view the percentage of placement quite low but yeah uh, yeah you will get the opportunities if you have a uh, quite unique profile and good cpi and a good good solid uh, preparation then you will get something uh, this is what i feel about the opportunities in aerospace department yeah but and it is it is better than what is uh, is there in else you know other institutes in india yeah. i would say that that opportunities that is an important point yeah. but opportunities should be there but if you are saying that opportunity i have but i am not ready for that you don't have you talked about the cpi and your background and your yeah. profile if it is not liking the yeah. profile of the company which is coming over there they will not take you it's very simple okay, it's sure it's sure it's so it's, it's very, very simple, simple yeah. so i tell students also that once you land up in the iits you just check what type of companies are coming yeah, there exactly. but they are looking for make your profile accordingly definitely it is going yeah, to be yeah exactly like it it requires a conscious effort is what i feel hmm. from uh, second and first semester itself you have to, you have to try to align your profile towards something which is required in industry then you have to gauge it really you know uh, quickly this is what i feel those and this is what i actually have done also so uh, if you can do this and uh, you maintain your cpi well and prepare to role specific things and uh, try to be aware what all companies claims and come and uh, and then, then then yeah then you have a good chance what, what type of companies uh, can you name some of the company which is coming for the aerospace placements yeah so airbus is one company and ge comes and then uh, you have uh, eaton not this time but yeah they are the, the regular recruiter and uh, yeah uh, uh, caterpillar comes and so i'm taking the big names obviously okay. startups are are there and about the average packages uh in core industry so uh, there are roles like in core roles you will get on an average like uh, 12 lpa and 11 lpa is what uh, i would say for core companies and the, for the companies i have mentioned for these companies uh, i think this is the pay scale that you get and if you get into non core companies or some uh, role which is so right now this machine learning and ai integration is also there for mm-hmm. the core field mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so if you can crack these roles and you will get higher pay anything else you want to tell to the our prospective students who are looking for the masters in let us suppose in aerospace because i find so many students who are interested for this aerospace program only so uh, first of all uh, since i am experience in this institute so i would tell about this institute uh, so the academics and the the rigor you are going to face here is, is quite high uh, so but still it is rewarding rewarding at the same time and uh, so what i feel to, for the pro- prospective students i think uh, you should not feel that you get into this institute and everything will went well no it, it will go well no it's not the case i mean you have to consciously try for things and then you have to grab them it's not that things will come to you and you will get things so it's not the case like nothing is spontaneous you have to go for it mm-hmm. so uh, and and i'm i'm raising this point because i feel i, I feel this that it is there in some of the people so uh, yeah this is it is most important i mean uh, it's the story is not done when you come here it mm-hmm. actually started from there mm-hmm. so this is what i would like to tell them anything you know about iit kanpur because you are into the campus mm-hmm. and nobody knows outside something uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe i can point out the academic rigor and maybe the people are people are aware about this the kind of rigor we face in academics i think it it is very higher in here 
in this institute and also maybe maybe some people know this but the research load uh, what we, we have in iit kanpur is i think comparatively higher to other institutes because here you have to write thesis and masters also but in other in, uh, institutes i guess i am i'm not sure 100% but i think it is not there in all of the other institutes so there you just have to write the project and report and you have to go but here the research load is quite higher because you have to write a thesis complete thesis so wow. i think this is something which, which which will be of interest of new students uh why anybody choose iit kanpur this aerospace department if he has two options let us suppose why this department this iit so uh yeah that's a good point i mean the facilities this department has aerospace is one of the i think oldest department in india aerospace department so uh, the kind of facilities we have we have national winter facility here and uh, some very acclaimed and very old labs are there different different research areas are there which i mean uh, i don't think there is something which you cannot get to work on here which is going on in india mm -hmm. so you will get everything to work on so uh, yeah and uh, very very acclaimed and good professors are there senior professors are there in aerospace department so yeah i mean uh, you you will get everything to work on basically will not you 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 will get the professors which are working on very advanced topics as well there are professors which are working on very traditional topics as well but they are also doing very very foundational and uh, significant work so uh, facilities are there you know obviously wind tunnels hypersonic uh, shock tubes and all of those things are there also digital uh, research is also going on so you will get the whole spectrum to work on so uh, this is uh, like uh, what or like people it would would be of interest of the people i guess and how tough is the course in comparison uh, to if you compare with yeah i mean that that's a quite subjective question but uh tough it will be challenging for yes. sure it will be challenging yes. and but then if you have challenges then you have the opportunities to learn but yeah it will be challenging and uh, now if i see it from the placement point of view we have to maintain cpi but yeah you can manage i mean you will get to learn and you will enjoy the process so then it will be easy so if i ask you that how much is the percentage of student who are basically looking for the placements and how many percentage of students who are looking for the higher studies from this particular department yeah so i can tell you about my batch and from my batch i think it, the, the the ratio is can be uh, 80 20 or 70 30 70 80% people want to go to industry because uh, going to hardcore research and phd is a longer commitment mm. and maybe even if some people are interested they are quite hesitant and they maybe want to look for the industrial experience first and they want then want to decide if they want to go for complete research and like phd or not but yeah like uh, the ratio is quite less to the people who want to go for phd the ratio is quite less and what is the intake in ms in aerospace means for three different specializations i think there is no fixed number okay yeah you you give the exam and you get the you you give the interviews hai na you also uh, write the exam exam bhi hota hai so uh, so three these three steps are there when you cross all of them and uh, then i think uh, interview decide decides that you are going to get inside the campus or not okay so uh, i think the number is not fixed because i can see that from my previous batch my batch and the next batch numbers are different what is it rough rough number roughly i think on an average i would say 10 people 10 people in e specialization no 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 overall I'm overall total in yeah. ms in aerospace yeah in three okay right yeah. in all the specialization 10 to 15 if you lay, lay, want to have a range then 10 to 15 is the and range and procedure yeah. is the same that gate you have to write you have and to apply exam. and written will be there then the interview will yeah. be there same. and let us like you are told that intro is a deciding factor mm -hmm. so uh, what what skills are required and what people prepare to enter into this aerospace for especially for the interview and just tell about the written exam also so in written exam actually the thing is uh, we we uh, have the habit of you know in gate exam we have the habit of you know uh, trying to solve the question quickly and uh, sometimes like i'm not saying this every time but sometimes it also works that you don't have to have the complete understanding of some concept on question if you know some things then you can try solve this question that's not the case at least the exam i gave okay so they are questions well curated by the professors so they are quite elaborate in nature but yeah i still uh, if you have uh, covered your gate syllabus well then you have, don't have to worry about anything so the exam is subjective or objective it was subjective in my case okay. and uh, the the mix of it i am sorry uh, i think it was uh, uh, numerical answer type questions you have to solve and you have to fill some will like i had to upload the questions answers and some was uh, uh, maths questions were sub uh, objective questions yeah okay last question uh, 
anything you want to tell to the prospective candidates who are basically watching this video and this session is very important for them yeah so uh, i feel uh, just just before coming for masters just decide why you want to do masters hmm. uh, have a clear understanding of it and what you want out of that maybe that's not clear uh, beforehand but at least have some idea and have a flexible mindset uh, before coming and if you come here here or maybe any institute then you can go through the curriculum and explore the things and then decide but before coming just 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 think that when you get into some institute for masters just think it is a start not the end i feel some people start feel that okay this is the end and i'll get something that's definitely not the case you have to uh, uh think about yeah that's a start and to you have to consciously think about what you want to fetch out of it and uh, sorry this is uh, this was i told to give to be the last question but how you decided that you want to be enter into this course or in this particular iit yeah so uh when i was in ug my uh, undergrad so first of all so to be very honest i was not very clear and aerospace is quite fascinating right so that was first it was a fascination <laughs> and what also like i was uh, interested into studies when i prepared for gate exam actually started developing interest in the subjects right uh, and if i wouldn't have got the interest to main shayad nahi aata is course mein so it was interest and fascination i would not say these are the good combination to enter into masters but uh that was the case with me but i explored a lot mm. i like I, after coming here i explored a lot of different research areas right and and different internships and so from uh, traditional computational methods to digital twins and uh, ai all those projects actually i have done here in their course so here you have lot of opportunities you have courses you have your thesis you have internships so different different parts you have different different projects so you gain different different uh, experiences so i have have actually explored a lot uh, mm. when i came to iit kanpur so that's actually helped me to get the clarity what i want to do right akash yeah. so you have covered so many points which are very important for the students jinko is bar admissions lene hai aur unko decision lene hai my score is this mereko kis domain mein apply karna chahiye kyunki do cheeze hain ek unka credentials their credentials second is their interest yeah true so uh, some in some way your interest may or may not be considered in some way your uh, credentials basically yeah, yeah. will be considered so many mm -hmm. things are there yeah. so thanks akash thanks Thank for this so talk and this yeah. is very Thank very you. important Thank, Thank you, you.